Hey, it's Kelly from paperbeadrollers.com and today's video is not a crafting tutorial. This is an update on what has been happening to me and um, how it's going. Number one, just to give an update to my friends and family and followers and customers who've been asking about me. I appreciate every message I've gotten, every Facebook post um, and words of encouragement. And it's been so helpful over this past couple of weeks. And I wanted to let you know kind of what's going on, give you a look at what's happening here and um, you know just keep you in the loop um, I do need to make a little disclaimer though that this video is about my personal experience it is not medical advice if you are experiencing any symptoms similar to what I had or any symptoms out of the ordinary please seek medical attention immediately especially if you're having the facial paralysis that I have because it could be a stroke and um, the they tell us that treatment within one to two hours after stroke is critical to survival and to good prognosis and good recovery. So that's my PSA. Um, this is not medical advice. Take care of yourself. Okay. Cause you are precious. Okay. So what happened with me? So on August 12th, 2021, I'm sitting there minding my own business on the couch, my laptop doing work. And all of a sudden, I was taking a drink and I felt like I had had Novocaine, like I'd been to the dentist or something. I felt like I was numb. So I go look in the mirror and I could see the facial droop. I uh, took a picture, sent it to my husband, just making sure I wasn't like, you know, because I tend to, you know, I, I tend to worry about my health a little bit. And he's like, call 911 instantly. He left work, came rushing home. My son, who's 12, was here, called him, you know, got him ready to go to the neighbor's. Ambulance came, saw the facial droop, got me ready, and um, loaded me into the ambulance to take me to our local hospital, which has a cardiac and stroke unit. Um, it was really great. The people there were amazing. Um, the funny thing is, I'm in the ambulance, and the EMT is looking at me going, okay, the droop's going away. Like, I saw it, but it's going away. He said, look, I can't diagnose you. We're going to take you in and have him do the workup, but I suspect this is Bell's palsy. Bell's palsy is, from my layman's understanding, when the facial nerve gets inflamed and stops working properly. And so it creates a paralysis and usually one side of your face. Um, it can be caused by all kinds of things. Um, and it's been around for a very, very long time. This is not anything new. Uh, so many people tell me I had it. I know somebody who's had it. Uh, is not uncommon, but it just seems like there's not been a lot of research on it. I don't know why. Um, but some of the common things that I've learned are cold sores. And I was fighting off a cold sore the week before this. Stress. I have, I'm very sensitive to stress. I had a stress heart attack in 2010. And since then, I have to really be careful of my stress levels, which is why I started my own business. So I could kind of control my environment a little bit more. But I had a very stressful week. The week before this, I had driven up to see my parents. The car broke down on the way there. Couldn't, they couldn't get apart for three weeks. My husband had to literally drive 600 miles with a truck and a dolly to come and get me. So it was, it was pretty stressful. Um, a lot of times it's a virus that, that just gets into the nerve and inflames it. So there's a million reasons this could have happened. There's no telling what it was. We'll never know, honestly. So I'm, I've just accepted that and, uh, and I'm moving on. Could be any of those things. Um, so we get to the hospital, get to the emergency room, and they do the initial assessment there. And, and at that point, they couldn't see any facial paralysis at all. It had gone away. But they did the MRI, they did the CT to rule it out completely. But Bef like a couple hours later, facial paralysis was back. And it stayed ever since. So they released me after maybe like six hours, after they were sure that it wasn't a stroke. And that's when the journey really began. Um, went to primary care who the, the normal, I guess, thing that they do is they give you prednisone and they give you antiviral. So started on those medicines pretty quickly, um, trying to get things calmed down. Now there's, um, again, not a lot of research information on what's the best thing to do for Bell's palsy. What I decided to do for myself and on recommendation from my doctor was to immediately start some kind of therapies. So there's a couple things that, that were mentioned to me. One was acupuncture. Um, my best friend happens to have the best acupuncturist um, that I could ever wish for. So I made an appointment. I'm driving like 45 minutes to go for my appointments to go see him because he's so amazing. Um, 
he is um, doing acupuncture on that side of my face. And the cool thing is every session, I've had three so far, after every session I see improvement, like real visible improvement. So I'm super excited that acupuncture is working for me. It does not work for everybody with Bell's palsy from what I understand. I joined a group on Facebook and we're all sharing, it's a support group, we're all sharing our experiences. For me, um, doing it right away and you know, being dedicated to it has been key. Another thing, uh, once I've gotten through these first few weeks and my muscles start strengthening a little bit and the paralysis goes away, I am gonna do some facial physical therapy. I also am lucky enough to have like the best physical therapist in the world, my friend, Chris. Um, she helped me through my chronic back pain issues and got me healthy again after my surgery. And so she has been, um, preparing for me to come to her to do some facial therapy. So we're going to do that to make sure that the muscles don't atrophy and um, stay strong and we can even out both sides of my face. Um, so really all I can do is, is wait and see. This is something you can't rush. You need to get a lot of rest. I think the, there's not a lot of pain. Um, I have had a couple of nights where I had really horrible shooting pains all through the back of my head, below my ear, into my shoulder. I'm not sure if that is the Bell's palsy or um, if it is some chiropractic issues. One thing I learned through my chronic back pain is that if any muscle in your body is not pulling its own weight, all of the other muscles have to compensate. And even the little muscles in your face, right, have a job to do. And if they're not doing it, everything else, like if this part of my jaw is not, if the muscles are not opening my jaw, this side has to do it. And so that is probably going to create some imbalances. Um, this is just, again, not medical advice. This is my theory based on my own experience. And so I'm continuing the chiropractic care as well. Um, again, I'm lucky to have some of the best medical people ever um and they are taking really good care of me as well so um those are just some things that i am doing that has been working in the group support group them and there's people who have this for years and there's people who heal in two weeks um there's just no telling there are two-year-olds a 10-year-old people older than me um it strikes everybody um for a multitude of reasons um, I, I don't know why there hasn't been more research on this condition, maybe because it's not life threatening necessarily, but it certainly is debilitating. I think the biggest struggle for me has been my eyesight. My right eye was very blurry, um, to the point where I had to cover it or I'd get dizzy. It has gotten some better, but I can't craft. I can't do the paper beads. I need to be able to see to center things and, you know, decorate them and, and, do the little jewelry, you know, pieces. I, I can't see uh, that minutely. So I actually did, you guys, I got some jeweler's glasses. Are they cool? Um, these are helping a little bit, but I think I have to be very careful not to strain my eye. So I'm not, I'm just, I'm just taking a break for a few weeks. We'll see. Um, hopefully that will help. Once things settle, um, if, if I still am having problems with my eye, I will go to the eye doctor and maybe get glasses or possibly look into a touch up on my LASIK, which could help. This eye is perfectly fine. This is the blurry one. So, um, you know, I can't do any detail work. I can cook. I've been cooking a lot more, which is nice. I love to cook, but I don't often have time to experiment. So I've been experimenting with the perfect pepperoni roll, which I used to eat back home in Ohio. Um, so I'm, you know, doing that, cleaning what I can. I get very tired. This is exhausting. It doesn't seem like it would be, but it is. Like, I'm just exhausted. Um, yeah, and that's, that's pretty much it. I think, you know, like I said, physically the hardest part is my eyesight. Emotionally, the hardest part is, number one, the way I look. But we're wearing masks right now. So that's actually kind of a good thing. I can go out and people don't stare at me. Um, Cause I'm wearing a mask. So happy for that. Um, I think the hardest part for me though, is that I've just had, I've had so many medical issues and none of them 
well, I shouldn't say none of them, you know, I had the heart attack in 2010 and then I had like two and a half years of chronic back pain to the point where I couldn't even pick up 12 pack. Like I really think had I not figured out the cause of that, I would have been, I would be in a wheelchair right now. That's how bad things had gotten. And I just recovered from that. I, the week before, the week I was in Ohio, I finally reached a, a physical goal of mine to walk two miles um, in one day, five days a week. And I had gotten to that point. I was so excited, so happy. And now this, like, it, I, I just, I just want to be healthy. I just want to be healthy. So I'm grateful that it wasn't a stroke. I'm so grateful for all that I've accomplished. I can still walk two miles, you know, I'm a little tired, so I'm not doing it every day right now but I have the physical capability of walking that far. Um, so I want to thank you for the texts and the messages on Facebook, um, the encouragement that y'all have given me. Just checking in and asking how I am means so much that you're thinking of me and that you care enough to ask. And my husband and my son are awesome. They're taking great care of me. So we don't really need anything. I would say the biggest thing you could do to help is just leave me encouraging messages. And of course, you know, if there's anything on your wish list at paperbeadrollers.com, now would be a great time to buy because I'm not able to do videos. I'm not able to do marketing. Um, you know, so of course that takes a hit with sales. But, you know, in terms of um, work, I can't um, teach right now. And I can't do, I do contract work, creating online training. And I, I had to give that contract, I had a contract I had to give away to someone else because I can't, uh, I can't work fast enough, basically. And I'm writing a book called Income Wheel Warriors. And I've created a structure for where you can um, layer your income and create kind of a safety net for when things like this happen. So if you're interested in the Income Wheel Warriors book, head over to kellyphillips.biz and I'll put a link in the description. You can jump on that mailing list and I'm trying to get it out um, in the fall. So you'll get notified as soon as it goes out. But, um, you know, thankfully I, I, you know, I've structured things to handle issues like this, but, um, I lost my train of thought. So that's where I'm at. Um, I don't know how long it will be before the next crafting video comes out. I'm hoping not more than a couple more weeks. If my It's all dependent on my eyesight, honestly, and how well I can, um, how well I can work. So I hope this video has helped you. If you are suffering from Bell's palsy, man, you're not alone. There's a lot of us out there. Um, and a lot of people who've had it in past years. Hang in there, you know? We got this. We're, we're going to get through this. It's going to be all right. Um, and definitely join. There's several Bell's Palsy support groups on Facebook. Um, join those. Um, be with people who understand what you're going through. Because emotionally, emotionally, this is really tough. All right. There's my update. Hopefully in a few weeks I'll have another update and you will see a huge visual difference in my face. But until then, everybody please take care of yourselves. Keep your stress low, keep your crafting high, and um, keep rolling. Take care. Bye.